Hi Thomas. Ciao. Are you happy to be here uh, at Udinese? I'm really happy to be here. Uh, I've been looking forward to make this move and, uh, and now I'm happy to be here. It's been uh, an intense move because in the last day of uh, market, uh, in that moment, uh, how, how, do, how did you feel? Yeah, it was some uh, stress days uh, when, we, uh, when we had the business between the clubs and, and me. Uh, but we found a solution and I'm, uh, I'm really happy to, uh, that it, uh, it uh, went through and uh, got completed. And, uh, what uh, was uh, the first impressions uh, of uh, this club? The first impression of the club is that uh, it's a historical club, uh, so you can just feel the the history when you move in, uh, when you go into the to the stadium facilities, and uh, and when you leave again. Uh, so yeah, a, a really nice uh, Italian club, and uh, with a lot of uh, quality players in the team, and. Uh, good people around the squad. So, uh, really Do nice. you like the, the stadium? Yeah, uh, I'm uh, impressed about the facilities. Uh, really, really nice. Okay. And uh, uh, have you ever played football in your life or uh, you did uh, other sports? No, I began to play when I was uh, six years old um, in my city where I'm from. And then I, when I was 10, I moved into uh, AGF, the Aarhus, uh, second biggest uh, Mm -hmm. city in Denmark where I played from um, I was 10 till I was 15 and then I had a year away from uh, AGF where I went to uh, uh, another school and, and played in uh, a club called Weile and then I came back to uh, AGF as an uh, under 17 uh, where I until I, that I was uh, 17 I played in the midfield mm -hmm. and uh, when I came back uh, as an under 17, I went down and played centre back, uh, and went all, all the way up to the to the first team as a centre back. Yes, and uh, you spent so many times in your uh, uh, native city team. What uh, kind of experience is to play for the team of your city? It's an incredible feeling. Of course, it was a uh, target for me when I was young to play for for the city where I'm from. So uh, it has been a, a big, uh, yeah. A big uh, thing for me to play for, for this club. And uh, what are the memories of your uh, debut, the first uh, team, the first uh, match with the, with the first team? Uh, the memories was uh, uh, incredible to to get into the pitch uh, with all my friends and, and family on the on the sideline, and uh, yeah, I know a lot of people from the city, so of course it was uh, a nice feeling. Uh, what are the people uh, with you are uh, remaining most linked uh, of uh, AGF? Uh, some players, uh, coaches, or of course I uh, I put on a lot of uh, of my development under the coach we had uh, Uwe Rösler, mm -hmm. uh, and then I've had some uh, incredible teammates also uh, on my way to here, uh, where I've had uh, the captain uh, Patrick Mortensen uh, in my former club that. Uh, that have had a, a big part and, and, uh, in, in where I am now. And so, yeah. Serie A is known as uh, the big defender league and uh, you will try to be one of these. Are you ready for this challenge? Yeah, of course. I wouldn't have uh, taken this step if I was not ready. So yeah, I feel, uh, I feel that it's the right time and, and the right step for me now. Uh, and I, uh, I'm pretty sure that I can uh, make a difference here also. What did you know about Serie A before you came here? I watched a lot of uh, Serie A in, uh, in the television, uh, followed a lot of, uh, of the games and uh, of course they're known for good defending so uh, I'll uh, look forward to improve uh, my defending also here. And there is a striker that you want to face up uh, in this area. I'm uh, curious. <laughs> Maybe Romelu Lukaku. <laughs> Good challenge. <laughs> yeah, it <is>. It's physical. <laughs> and uh, you, what kind of player are you? I'm uh, playing centre back, uh, right footed, uh, have my qualities on the ball, short and long passes. Um, and then, of course, of my physical package, uh, I'm also good in the air and uh, in the body duels. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
in uh, in which uh, uh, things in what things you have to improve uh, according to you? I have to improve uh, my aggressive uh, defending mm -hmm. um, and then to just uh, put away all these small concentration mistakes uh, mm -hmm. to, to take on the next step. And uh, have you ever had a model, uh, a player that you like uh, to see? Yeah, I've always had uh, Jai Touré from uh, Man City because I was a midfield when I was uh, young. Mm -hmm. uh, but if I should uh, choose a defending defender now, I would uh, maybe say Ruben Dias. I think he have a, a big uh, uh, package and uh, many of the things he does is, uh, yes. is what I see uh, a good defender is. What are your goals for this season uh, as an uh, individual and uh, as a team? Of course, uh, individually I have to, to settle down, uh, find the rhythm in, uh, in, the, in my play here and uh, of course I, I want to start with get uh, as many minutes uh, as possible uh, here in the first uh, season and then I uh, of course want the team to, to win some games and uh, improve. You, you see by outside, but uh, what do you think about the start of the season of Udinese with three points in four games? Yeah, of course it's not uh, uh, the, the start that uh, everyone have, has uh, dreamed of, but uh, it's how it is and uh, we move on from here. I see some uh, big potential in the, in the team, so uh, the wins will, uh, will come, I'm pretty sure. And, um, what kind of match did you expect against Fiorentina next Sunday? Yeah, I don't know that much about Fiorentina, but uh, I think we just have to play our game and then we'll see. This is the first uh, at home. Uh, are you eventually ready to, to be in the starting 11? Because in, uh, in defense there are also some injuries. I feel ready, yeah. Uh, after one week I already feel uh, many good uh, people here, so I already feel uh, like home. So. Now it's just about to find the rhythm on the pitch and I feel it coming, so yeah, I'm ready. You play also for Denmark uh, under 21 team uh, and uh, this is uh, proud for you to wear the shirt of your, of your country. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a big uh, thing for me also to, uh, to control this uh, position in uh, under, under 21, so, uh, and, so you, yeah. and you wanted to, to go. Uh, in the senior team. Yeah, I of suppose. course, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a dream for me also. And uh, a step that I see uh, is uh, just in front of me, so I just have to take the next step. Do you like uh, Udine? I like Udine really much. I've heard some uh, great things about the city also, so I'm uh, looking forward to explore the city also. And uh, uh, the Italian food? What do you think? Yeah, uh, really, really good. <laughs> Really good. It's different by the Danish one. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and uh, in the free time, what do you like to do? Uh, in the free time, I spend a lot of time with my friends, but of course, they're obviously not here anymore. So uh, I play a computer and, yeah. uh, and PlayStation. So, uh, so what kind of games? Counter Strike, League of Legends. Okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> and the last thing, uh, what is your message for the Udinese fans? The message is that uh, they have got a, a player with uh, that can uh, get into defense and uh, come with, uh, with some calmness uh, on the ball and uh, and uh, strong in the duels. Thank you very much. Thank you.